both of the people that were in the car were not, they were overdosing. Dang, this is really happening. I didn't know this would actually happen to me. I was hanging out with a few of my friends who were over at my house. One of our family friends was over. He had two people in his car. I did not know who they were. They were two of his friends he was just hanging out with. They must have popped um, Percocets in the back of his car or some other substance of drug. I don't really know what it was. I had already suspected that they were overdosing on something and then he was like, I'm just gonna take him to the hospital. And I was like, nah, man, you can't take him to the hospital. Like, you have to call 911. We recognize the signs of overdose and because of the prevention class I learned from the week before it was like I kind of knew what to do in this scenario like I knew I had to call 911 I knew that's something that we had to do. So I provide substance abuse prevention curriculum um, in the school system here in Broward County um, as well as in Palm Beach County. I love what I do because I get to empower kids to help them make healthier choices. She just tells the kids right away I'm not trying to trying to change you who you are and what you want to do but if you're not educated this is what can happen and she's so real with them. I am a peer counseling teacher at Coral Springs Charter. We have um, quarterly speeches and for the seniors they get to do a speech pretty much free reign on, on what, the, what their final message is back to their peers and he had a speech but he started with this story and he said I just have to tell you this and he told the story it was not a normal, this person is intoxicated or this person is hot. This was a situation that was scary. When they checked on the guy, he had like a BPM of two beats per minute. And they were the guy in front who I was holding his neck was in the ICU for about like two weeks afterwards. Stephen was the one that actually made the phone call um, to 911. It ended up saving one life at least, and my understanding is perhaps a second. When the coach Brand told me about it, I had chills. I even teared up because it was one of those great reminders that you are planting a seed. The Hanley Foundation's prevention programming has changed so many things. First of all, it's rooted in prevention, and I think a lot of the things we do aren't. Um, this has kind of taken that step back, so I'm really appreciative that they've developed curriculum and put people in place that understand how to teach it. I'm just very thankful that someone is bold enough, that an organization is bold enough um, to take that step to make a difference in our kids' lives, because it is.